Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of our Megahood series. Today is a strange town day, I guess. And we are at the Beakers. Kids gonna age up in the evening and that's pretty much all that's gonna happen. Okay, time for birthday. Interesting pyjama. And you too. Okay, I'm gonna make it like that. It should be enough for them. Okay, that's how Atom looks like. I like it. It suits the family, I guess. So that's Atom, and he looks... Interesting. Alright, I won't change anything, I mean. This hairstyle is fine for him. She looks fine, I guess. I mean, shorts for Strange Town is not a bad idea. So I won't change their outfits. Talk about her face. She looks quite like her mom. I was going to make her stay at home, but everyone went to school and work, so she doesn't have a reason to stay. That's good. She can get a promotion. She doesn't have to use her days off. Okay, they were flying for some time because I guess it isn't interaction for kids. Oh, nice. He knows how to do homework now. And Sirs is gonna help Sirs. These names are quite a challenge to pronounce. Nice, she finished her homework as well. Okay, time to sleep. I was about to check how his skill going but he got abducted <laughs> okay okay he got a positive memory out of it everyone else did get a negative one and we have a burger yeah okay as you enter the kids room we wake the kids up and they call emergency. Why? Yes, of course. Don't catch the burger, just go by him and stop. Yeah. Time to go to work like nothing happened. Oh. I forgot about alien pregnancy. That reminds me I need to add more aliens to the neighborhood like like us pollinators because well for now every alien kid will be with the default pollinator. Which I guess is kinda fine with it's like I have like three sims pregnant, I mean in total counting Pasco in, but later it's gonna be annoying when every alien is family. So yeah, for now I'll let him have the baby with default alien and Laszlo does the same thing, but later I'm gonna add custom aliens. They're gonna do experiments on the little kid, I guess. I mean, they probably would. Alright, time to give birth. I'll look some names and we'll be back in a moment. Okay, let's see how many will it be. Only one. That's good. And it's a girl. Okay, girl with alien eyes. I tried to find a cool name, but I don't have any idea, so it's gonna be a Blaze. I'm gonna name her Blaze. Oh wait, it's morning already. So yeah. Let's not care about the baby, let's go to another family and we'll worry about it in the next rotation. So let's go to the Grants. Okay, so we are at the Grants now. These two just got back from university. I already fixed their age and yeah, I could throw a small wedding probably. I, will, I think I will do that. I may throw them a wedding at the end of rotation. I don't think I wanna do so now, but... I guess I will. But we don't really have space for them, I guess. Tank's room is now occupied by Tara, so 
He doesn't even have space for himself now. I'm quite surprised Rip is still here. He would probably move out right away. I'm actually gonna do that. For now it's gonna be like that. Later they're gonna have like this much space and I'll, and I'll try to change it so it fits a double bed. I don't know why but this foam gave me a loose idea to resurrect another sim which would be Lila but I resurrected quite a lot sims in this rotation. They are friends so it would make sense but I don't know honestly like I usually would resurrect her because of her unique face but now I fixed everyone so her unique face passed to her sons so she doesn't need to be resurrected only for that. Nobody will age up in this episode except of Buck but he goes to college so technically not in this episode because he's going to college. So we'll see him in the next episode <laughs> as an adult. I think I could do a wedding sooner than last I think I'll do a wedding sooner than last day because well we'll have quite a lot going on at the last day and we don't really have anything that would be a wedding dress. I mean this one is the closest. Well if I moved Rip out now and moved him to Pleasant View he would be in the next episode so it would make sense. I think I'm gonna do that, yeah. Okay, you packed your own stuff, you stole the phone and you ran away, <laughs> I guess. We'll see you in the next episode. Okay, Rip came back. He took his own stuff, he took the phone and he casually moved out. <laughs> and nobody noticed. At least that's how it was supposed to be. I forgot to lock the wand to get married and you don't want it anymore. <laughs> Alright. Okay, you are almost there. Yay, now she knows how to talk. Okay, today in the evening we'll throw a small wedding party. I guess I can already buy all the needed stuff because well, it's gonna indeed be a party. I won't really buy any food, we have a grill here. I might buy an extra table because I have no idea how many guests we'll have. First friends, Jennifer, Lucy, Laszlo, Daniel and Mary still because they are like, like family, John Burb because of course. And do you know that one professor that is friends with Tank? Oh yeah, you do. So yeah, once Buck finishes his homework, we're gonna have a wedding. No, don't poke your own child. It's your son and you are supposed to have a party or something. Okay, they can get married now. Because Buck is on the way. Not many people seem interested in the wedding, but it's alright. Most came here for the food, I guess, and for the dances. Who has highest cooking? Go make hamburgers. So you have hamburgers here. We're gonna have hot dogs as well. Let's serve them. Just like... And put them back down. Just so everyone can grab them if they want. And you can already clean up hamburgers. Uh, at least party was a good time. When you put a train here, maybe. Oh yeah, you did. And we have one more day to play. Okay, Lilith is stealing our newspaper. At least it was old one. Okay. General is aging up next rotation. It's gonna be interesting seeing him as an elder. Back got home. Take a shower and finish your homework. I'm going to college today. You wanted the uh, Will Wright Genius Grant and I forgot about it. <laughs> you don't have enough lo You have, I guess. 8 points, you have 7. You'll get one more, I guess. Just you have to practice for sure, because without it you won't get anything. I think you'll make it. 
Yeah, you have now eight skill points. Let's apply for scholarships. Will you get the one? SimCity. We'll write Genius Grant. Nice. But you won't didn't get fulfilled because I unlocked that. Well, it's in memories, so I don't mind. Move to college right away because it's past 6 p.m. now. And there he goes. We'll see him at the end of next episode. Because I'll be moving the students in. <laughs> Alright, so that's gonna be it for today. We only had two families and we have only one episode left to play. I'm somewhat glad that I moved to rip out because, well, we would have only one family and college in the next episode and now we have two families so it's not gonna be as short and as boring. What did we have today? Not much really, we had Adman Sarah Sage Nap at Beakers and I think more happened at Grants because we had a wedding here, Rip moved out, back went to college. I really should take notes while recording because I always forget what happened when I'm making these endings. But yeah, next episode is gonna be Pleasant View and of course last episode of the rotation. Comment your suggestions and opinions and see you next episode. See you next Wednesday. Bye.